Hi, my name is Sam and in this video we're going to talk a lot about 3D visualization. Especially how we can do 3D, true 3D visualization, not just looking in on a computer screen, which is 2D. So, some ways we can do 3D visualization. One way is to use a 3D printer. A 3D printer basically builds up an object layer by layer from a 3D model. This is a chicken bone, for example. This was scanned at the advanced light source using micro X-ray tomography. So this is the outside of the chicken bone, and if you were to rotate this around like this, it becomes a full chicken bone. There's always going to be limitations involved with 3D printing, because if the material is too thin, it won't be able to actually print it. So, what are some other ways we can do 3D visualization? Well, the next way is to use some sort of VR headset. All right, so there's two main levels of VR. One level, using a Google Cardboard, only requires a smartphone and a $20 headset. The other level is use something like the HTC Vive or Oculus Rift. These retail for about $800 with controllers. I prefer the HTC Vive because it has true room scale VR. It enables you to really explore your data in new and interesting ways. All right, enough of me talking. Now let's jump into Viso and learn how to export a 3D model either for 3D printing or for the HTC Vive. The first step is to get a good segmentation. This segmentation should just be the object we want to 3D print or put in the HTC Vive, as in it has no blobs or other stuff in it. Next, once we have the binary labels file, we're going to type in generate surface to a viso and click apply. This creates a surface. A surface is basically a collection of triangles which 3D printers and the HTC Vive can then display or 3D print. Now it is time to export the data. So to export the data, first select the data and then go up to the file menu and go to export data as, then select OBJ files. To 3D print the model, please import the file into your favorite 3D printer software and follow those instructions. To import the model into the HTC Vive, you first have to import it into Unity. To import the model, right click, import, and then drag your model into your scene. As you can see, I'm not only using, I'm not using the default scene in Unity. I'm using my own custom built scene, which allows me to move the model around while I am in VR. You can learn more about this custom built scene in my video about it right here. I think that's all for us today. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and have a nice day.